What's going on everybody? We gotta talk about hiking shoes. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Mid 10 Outdoors. This is Patrick and we've got to talk about hiking shoes. The only reason why I want to do this and the reason why I'm doing this is um, well it's something I experienced on the trail that just blew me away. Um, so we're going to talk about it. I'm actually going to make this a little bit of a series because I'm also going to show you some care techniques uh, to do with your hiking shoes when you get through hiking. Now, first off, this is not a hiking shoe, nor is this. Now, both of these are okay for around camp. Especially if you're car camping. Now, if you're out in the woods, I would recommend this a little more because it has a little more protection. But these are not made for hiking in. And the reason why I say this is last hiking trip I did, ran across a family, young family. And granted, they may not know. And I hope people find this video. Um, but they're poor little girls probably five and six years old and they're on this five mile hike or had started on this five mile hike and we're wearing these and I'll put it to you like this that's how bad the terrain is I haven't cleaned that boot off from the mud and everything except for just knocking the mud off so let's start off with these are not for hiking in at all ever Okay, so what do I recommend? I'm not going to recommend any brands on this video. I'm just going to recommend what I think you should do, what you, what kind of shoe you should wear hiking. Now, I really don't have a problem with like a cross trainer, and that's what this is. This is New Balance Cross Trainer. Uh, it's got some decent tread on it, um, but it's it's more made for indoors. But can you get away from? get away with wearing this outside you know trail yes but know that if you go through in water it's gonna get water in because it it's not waterproof next this is my old Columbia hiking shoes and these are well this is a boot but it's a shoe height I guess is what I'm trying to get at um, I really like the Columbia boots uh, a lot these are these are fun <laughs> These are broke in good now, uh, but what's sad is it's probably not long before I'm gonna need a new pair. Um, but this is what you call a, a tennis shoe or a sneaker height. Um, I like them. I have not had any problems with them. Matter of fact, the most water I've ever been in, and these are waterproof, and I waterproof them too. Um, that's something we'll get in on care of hiking boots and shoes. Um, but then I waterproof them myself after a while. I mean, the waterproofing only lasts so long. Uh, and then least but not, or last but not least, is a full height. And actually, they make them a little taller than this too. Hiking boot. This is Morel. Now, I'm not going to recommend any of these boots to you, although I love this pair. I love these shoes daily. And I do wear these. But not on the trail. Um... But I do not, and I don't know what it is. Maybe there's something about morels that my feet just don't like, but I cannot wear these. Uh, these have been on maybe, these may have four miles on them. And I'm just not gonna wear them anymore. They're just make, they hurt my feet too much. But Morel's a good brand. Um, this is a good brand of boot. It's not, nothing wrong with it. Um, it just they don't work for me uh, they might work for somebody else and it may be the shape of my foot and that's something else you got to take consider consideration um, you really need to try them on I thought these fit pretty good and what's crazy is they do fit pretty good in the beginning it's getting towards the end they hurt um, they hurt my feet in here in here sorry and it may be these I don't know I don't know maybe I need to go to a different width or size on morel than I do the Columbia's so anyway I just want to throw this out there and make it quick and simple hopefully it's not too long 
but yeah these are not made for hiking these are not hiking shoes whatsoever uh, like i said around camp now i'll wear these with wool socks even in the winter time around camp but i won't wear these hiking or these something in this nature is what you need for hiking okay that's it i appreciate everything you do for us appreciate the likes the subscribes and the shares and comments please let them go matter of fact here at the end of the video I'll tell you what i want you to do down below in the comments what is your favorite pair of hiking boots um yours may be different from mine and that's good i'd like to try solomon's at some point and see how i like them I like some of the newer boots and shoes that are out there that are super lightweight. This thing definitely is lighter than this one. And actually, these two are about the same as far as, yeah, as far as uh, how heavy, how light they are. So anyway, stay tuned. The next video will come out on anything to do with footwear. It's going to be how to take care and clean your boots. And I got to get that all off of there from the last trip. It was muddy, nasty. I got most of it off, but there's more to go, and we're going to clean these up. All right, guys. Appreciate it. Be prepared.